Hey everybody on my YouTube channel. This video is to uh, show you the lawnmower I converted into a wood chipper. Now, all I've done so far, I'll tell you what everything you need to do, and then that, then I uh, show you show you my completed product. But what I've done is drilled a series of holes that are approximately two inches wide total. You know, a two inch space with holes drilled around it on the perimeter. And I got a hammer and I hit in the center where the holes are surrounding the spot I'm hitting. Hopefully it would knock the metal free. Well, it knocked the metal free on three of the sides. And the other side, I was going to try to knock it out as well so I can have that metal piece out. But then I thought of it sort of like a hinge. Plus, I'm lazy. I don't want to keep trying to get it out. So now it's basically a hinge. And it's in the up position. So this lawnmower I bought for $15 from a flea market. And one of the wheels is broke. It's like bent at an angle like that. And the back wheel is basically the same way. So you can't really use this lawnmower for mowing your grass. Unless you really uh, want to have a hard time. Anyway, I checked the blade before I drilled the hose. Made sure that uh, you know the tree limb would go down into the hole where the blade was swishing by. And the blade would cut it up. Now, um, when I started drilling the hose, I made sure I moved the blade out of the way. And I removed the, the wire for the spark plug so it wouldn't, the lawnmower couldn't start by accident somehow. Now, to, to do this test to see if it's going to work, uh, I, I got one of my clamps. I bought one of those bags of clamps from Walmart. It has like 16 clamps in it for like 8 bucks or something. They're different sizes. They're great. They're really strong. And if I leave them outside, hopefully the sun doesn't ruin the plastic and turn the clamp, clamp to crap later down the road. Probably will, so... Uh, the reason why I was going to use them outside is the little bitty ones I put around my half-inch PVC pipe poop houses to hold the bird netting in place over my strawberry bed. Anyway, I'm going to show you the lawnmower and I'm going to tell you everything about what I've seen on YouTube videos and on the internet about using your lawnmower as a wood chipper. Okay, now the wood chipper part of it is tree branches that are around an inch and a half to two inches thick or less. Now. I did see one YouTube video where this guy, he got this junk lawnmower for five bucks. I mean, it ran and everything, but it was junk. He's worse off than this one as far as the wheels and everything. So he wanted to try to kill the motor. One thing he did different that I didn't do on this mower is he re removed the governor on it. Now, the governor controls the speed of the engine of the mower. Now, uh, on a normal mower, because I'm learning to be a uh, small engine repair technician, on a regular lawnmower like this, there's a governor on there, so when you like get the tall grass and the engine starts getting slowed down by cutting the tall grass, uh, there's mechanisms in place that speeds up the mower to you know stay at the speed that it was at before it hit the tall grass, and that you know gives it more power. Anyway, um, so his mower is a full blast; it's going to eat through his gas like crazy. But he didn't care; he wanted to tear up the motor. Now he found branches this thick, like four inches thick. He had them at an angle like this. He had a branch on the ground. Had, had the branch he wanted to cut at an angle so he could bring the lawnmower over to the angled branch, lift it at an angle, and just go up against it to see if he could kill the mower or if it would, you know, t tear up the, the tree branch into wood chips, which it did. He did all kinds of branches and tree stump, you know, tree tree uh, branches that are real thick, real skinny. Turned it all to uh, little pity pieces. And then he got a fence panel that was laying around in the, in the woods that he was at or wherever he was at. And he put it on that angle, you know, it was like a 1x4 or a 1x6. And it, you could tell it was old, you know, rotted. It wasn't a brand new panel from the store. Anyway, the fence panel was at an angle. He brought the lawnmower up, tilted it, went up against it, still tore up the wood. I mean, it just ate it away. And his mower, during, during all, the whole time, the engine never slowed down like it was dying because of all the work it had to do. No, it tore it all up. Well, other YouTube videos I have seen, People would drill approximately an inch and a half hole in the front of their mulching mower. This lawnmower is not a mulching mower. It's a normal, regular cut your grass mower. It shoots the stuff outside. Now, everyone says you should use a mulching mower because it's designed to mulch your grass. Well, um, my mower is a mulching mower, the new one I have from last year or year before, whenever I bought it. It's a mulching mower with a bagger on the back and a side discharge chute. Well, my discharge chute is blocked off so everything can go in the bag or I can mulch the grass by taking the bag off. Well, I want to use the, the wood chips as a mulch for my garden. If you haven't seen the film called BackToEdenFilm.com, if you haven't gone to that website and watched it, you know, watch that film. 
and they save you money on your water bill if you can get free wood chips. Anyway, so I went to wood chips, and I got branches and stuff over my yard from last year and this year. Okay, so I'm going to get some branches, bring them over to the mower, and then I'm going to show you the mower. Now, if I was a professional, making some money, I had all this ready for you in the first place. But, anyway. Here's the mower. Um, I'm not trying to say anything bad about the mower, because I have no experience with it. It is a Rally 20-inch cut lawn mower with a Briggs & Stratton 300 series, 148cc, 4.5 foot-pounds gross torque engine. Or SAE J1940, whatever that means. Anyway, let's see what you guys can see. Okay. Now, I got my tape measure out. I didn't just guess. I got my tape measure out and made a two inch square on here, scraping it with my drill bit because I didn't have a pin with me. Oh, wow. I had my uh, hammer with me when I hammered that. So the claw of my hammer, I bent this back. So, as you can see, this tree branch, oh, it's probably about an inch to half an inch wide. It'll fit right down in there. And the idea, if this was a mulching mower, you'd have this stuff go through here and get chopped into little bitty pieces, and then go into your bagger, so you can use the wood chips. But, this here is gonna go out the side chute, and I'm gonna have like a trash can on the side to uh, catch the wood chips. Now there's one thing I've, I've seen from on the uh, YouTube videos is a normal wood chipper, one of those big monster ones you hook up to the back of a tractor. The guy had tree branches and everything that were like six to eight inches thick and he's throwing them in there and they were very long and it chewed it all up and spit it out. And what I'm complaining about is it spit it all out in the same pile and you think putting all them branches in there, all the trees in there, you have a big pile of wood chips. No, he didn't. It was small. I mean, I watched this thing for 15-20 minutes and the pile just stayed small. So you don't really get much on tree branches. So anyway, I'm going to start this mower up and I have the clamp on it to keep it running. And I'm going to feed this in here and see what happens. I have not checked to see how sharp the blade is or if it's bent or anything. Uh, I did put some dielectric grease on the spark plug and on the spark plug wire. To, to help it out because this engine sounds like it wants to die. The gas could be bad. I mean, here it is, April, uh, April 7th. I bought this April 6th and I just made sure it ran and that's it. I am going to change the oil and put fresh gas in it and all that because I want to use this as a wood chipper only if this works good. So here we go. I'm going to start it up. I don't think I need to prime it because I had it going a few minutes ago, but just in case. Uh, by the way, I have not tried this before. All I did was get that hole made so I can have you and me experience this, experience this at the same time. back so you can see the wood chips but on the side this charge this, this charge shoot there's nothing there 
I mean, literally, there's nothing there. Okay, um, you see how thick this thing is. I had it going in there. But one thing I don't like about this, a lot, a lot of the uh, people on there would have a, like a cup, you know, something like a cup that screwed down on this. And, uh, that cup, um, you know, it would feed, it, feed this in here, and they wouldn't have, it wouldn't have this hinge here. And this would just feed right through. Now, the one thing I recommend is getting your jigsaw or something and get rid of these teeth. Because, you know, this thing here had a little side piece of sticking out that blocked it. But then it also got stuck on these pointy edges here on the, on the sides. And when it goes in here, the one thing I really hated was the vibration of the stick getting tore up. I mean, I don't like, I didn't like handling it. Like, I, I did feel like I was going to get hurt, but I knew I wasn't. As I was shoving this in here, you know, I'm always being cautious. As I was shoving this in here, um, this thing was just going back and forth like crazy. It, you know, it didn't want to get cut up. But anyway, um, let's move this branch out of the way. Let's see what's underneath it. Uh, look at that. Hardly anything. What's wrong with my phone? You what? I don't have any mail. Sorry guys, I'm looking at my phone saying there's a phone message or something. Okay, look at this. Uh, like right here are some wood chips to the front of the mower where the wheels are at. So, yeah, it worked, but it didn't get, sh didn't get shot out the side. So I am going to get rid of that hinge, and uh, I want you guys looking at me. <laughs> get rid of the hinge, you know, and piece of metal. I'm going to get my jigsaw blade out or a file or something, get rid of them sharp edges. And I'm going to get a soup can and see if I can screw it down on here so I can put the stick in there and as the soup can keeps it straight up and down, the tree branch will keep going down and when I let go of it. That's the theory anyway. But when you think about it, it is a very good idea as long as the mower keeps working. I mean, you got a junk mower, why not do it? Now I got all kinds of little little bitty branches out here and some big ones. And it feels weird sticking that in there. You're thinking, ah, it's gonna hurt something, but it hasn't yet. <laughs> Man, oh, that vibration of that thing really sucked. Didn't like it one little bit. I was being cautious. I'm back here. And... Now, if I would have thought about it, I would have got my safety glasses out. You should not do this without safety glasses. You don't want to lose your eyesight. I just didn't think about it. I'm all about safety. I really am. I just didn't think about it. You know, I was getting everything ready and I wasn't thinking about it. Then I thought about getting the camera out. Okay. Well, if you got any uh, questions or comments or if you know something I don't know that you know, I haven't learned yet from watching YouTube videos, uh, let me know. Thank you. Bye. Hello.